Well, because we're using the aqua cool system, you do get not only faster healing, but you get you know a better scar because you are keeping out the inflammatory response. So you you, you know if if you're the zone of injury, you know, from burns. We, we know that if, if you have a little bit of a burn, and certainly, uh, you know, the, the fractionated CO2 is a little bit of a burn, uh, you will get quicker regeneration of the skin using cool therapy and aqua cool. Uh, you know, it's, it, it just decreases the inflammatory response altogether. So that if you were ever worried about an area having um, uh, a problem that uh, maybe the burn was too deep or that you might get hypopigmentation. Certainly putting the aqua cool on that minimizes that quite a bit because it decreases the tissue needs so that they're not, the metabolism isn't going so fast and so you don't, you don't increase the, the zone of injury as much. So honestly it's a safer way to, uh, to treat patients as well. The patients like the AquaCool best because of the, the, of the pain relief that they get from it. Uh, it. Just, you know, they don't have the itching, they don't have the, even people that are claustrophobic, generally speaking, when they try to take it off for a while, they find that they put it right back on simply because of the decrease in pain and the good feeling that it gives them. And, you know, they can't see the decrease in inflammation, but uh, certainly that's a great byproduct of uh, the cold therapy that they they get that advantage from and so the swelling goes down so much faster we find that it, it really goes down faster probably by 25 30 percent rather than using the ice and so on so if it would usually take the swelling uh, three days to four days to go down uh, it's going to be down in like two and a half to three days, something like that. So it's a, a marked improvement in the amount of swelling, probably because compliance is better. Uh, the differences between the active FX and the deep FX are fairly profound. Uh, the deep FX offers us the ability to treat the deeper layers of the skin or what we call the superficial dermis, which is where most of the collagen lies and the collagen is critical for us to get skin tightening. The active effects handpiece is a more superficial modality which we're able to take care of superficial fine lines as well as pigmentation without the need to go deeper to get as much collagen uh, and skin tightening. So when you combine both modalities, the active effects and the deep effects to give what we term total effects we get the benefits of both. We can take care of the sun damage and pigmentation with the active FX. We can achieve skin tightening, wrinkle reduction with the deep FX. The downtime that's involved with fractional resurfacing uh, basically comes from starting with several hours after the procedure where we have an intense feeling of heat, almost like a very uh, profound sunburn. And we found that using whatever modality we can to keep the patient comfortable during this time significantly helps both in their comfort as well as the healing. Beyond that we run through a period where the skin is intensely red. We can get some bronzing. Eventually that skin will slough kind of like a snake's shedding its skin. When that happens we then see the pink newer uh, fresh uh, tissue and tightened skin that we're trying to achieve. We do see swelling with fractional resurfacing, especially when we use the deep FX modality. Because we're going to the deeper layers of the skin to try to achieve that tightening, we're going to get a more profound swelling. Uh, because in that area, in those deeper layers of the skin, we're going to have a much more intense uh, inflammatory response rather than the active FX, which is more superficial. So we do find more swelling when we use the deep FX modality. We have a lot of experience with the AquaCool, especially with our surgical facelift patients. And what we found is immediately they describe a lot of comfort and it's a very soothing uh, treatment that we're able to offer. Further down the road, we noticed that the time to healing, the amount of bruising in our surgical patient has been significantly reduced. 
After the fractional resurfacing, using the AquaCool, our patient immediately said that the intense feeling of heat and burning was subsiding as soon as we put the mask on. Well, we know using a cooling uh, therapy during a healing process minimizes the inflammatory response. So we will expect significantly less swelling, significantly less pain, and a faster time to healing. We've been very happy with the AquaCool device. Our patients are quite comfortable. It's very safe and it's easy to use. And ultimately, it definitely speeds the healing process. When we describe the comfort that it provides and the improvement in downtime or healing time, most patients are quite receptive to the treatment. My name is Annie Hembro, and I'm a physician assistant and I work with Dr. Daniel Mills here in Laguna Beach. When doing the active effects, uh, patients will experience quite a bit of swelling and redness and most of that swelling takes place in the first 72 hours. And so for that reason, we need to uh, use something that is going to uh, help with that because the swelling and the redness is what patients complain most about as far as the discomfort goes. The more swelling they have, generally the more pain that they have. Traditionally, um, people say that ice is the best thing for swelling. Uh, with doing the lasers, such as the active effects, we have started using the AquaCool mask to help reduce the um, discomfort that people have after the treatment. The, when people put ice on their face, it, uh, you know, they can only do it for certain periods of time. You know, it starts to melt, it you know, gives off some condensation, um, patients get frustrated with it, they're always having to refill it. So for us, having a device that we can put on their skin and they can fall asleep with it on there and not worry about it falling off has really improved upon their discomfort after the procedure.